In TIFO Sensible Transfer series, we analyse teams, identify problem areas and suggest solutions in the form of incoming transfers. We don't follow gossip, rumours or conjecture and we don't have inside information and broadly speaking, we don't consider the brand value of players, merely their suitability to the team in question. Now, some of our choices might be a touch niche, and some of them would be unlikely to ever happen, but the game isn't to make predictions, it's to make suggestions. So, how do we come up with these suggestions? Well, in much the same way that football clubs do, by scouting. Now, obviously, Tifo doesn't have the budget to send sensible transfers writer Alex Stewart all around the world, nor does Tifo have enough Alex Stewarts to send, but we can at least mimic the modern football club's approach towards video scouting and whittle down a long list of players to a short list. Here's how that works for a club, and to explain this, we are going to create a hypothetical club with a transfer requirement so we can take you through step by step. First, we'll have to assume certain things to make it plausible and interesting. Our club is professional, but not a dominant side domestically. It has access to video and data scouting tools, but it doesn't outsource this. And the manager works alongside or even under a director of football. Now let's call our hypothetical team Winchester Wanderers. The Wanderers are a mid-level championship club in England and their manager, Craig Davidson has to work within certain financial constraints that mean he can't simply scour Europe's top five leagues and secure the best talent. Craig works with his director of football, Elliot, and head of recruitment, Pete, to set transfer priorities and then leaves Pete to implement a structure and method for this. Manager Craig likes to play a 4-2-3-1, retain possession with a high volume of passing, and likes pace in his players. He's not afraid to play directly into the channels and so wants his wide players to be able to run with the ball and cut inside. This is relevant because Elliot and Craig have identified their long-serving right winger as the club's weak link and have earmarked this position as their priority for the coming transfer window. Now, Strategically, this makes sense. Replacing a weak link is likely to strengthen a team much more than signing an upgrade in a position that's already well-stocked. As director of football, Elliot briefs head of recruitment Pete on these requirements and adds in a few of his own. For financial reasons, the club cannot look at Europe's top leagues, but wants to sign players from leagues that are competitive enough that the player will not find the transition too hard. Elliot therefore focuses on several others. Let's say the four English professional leagues, Zweite Bundesliga, the Austrian Bundesliga, the Danish Superliga and the Swedish Elfenskan. In addition, Elliot is happy to let Pete investigate France's third tier, the National, and the Serbian Superliga, as he believes there's value there. This automatically narrows the field. Pete is well-versed in how Craig likes to play, but Elliot emphasises a few characteristics that both feel are key besides dribbling, speed and creativity. He wants a player under 24 years of age, ideally who's played left wing as well as right wing, and looks to cross late rather than float the ball in, as Winchester don't have any tall strikers. If the player speaks English or is homegrown under registration rules, this is a bonus. So at this point, Pete has three key pieces of information that allow him to begin searching. Firstly, Winchester's own style of play into which the player must fit. Secondly, the profile and position of the player sought. And thirdly, a list of leagues to search, narrowed by relative quality and likelihood of delivering value. The first stage is fairly straightforward and is our process for the Sensible Transfer series. Using data from various providers, for example Opta, Statsbomb or Scout, Pete generates an initial set of prospects. These players are selected initially because of their age and position before being further screened by the data. If Pete is feeling particularly assiduous, he'll add in wingbacks and fullbacks because sometimes these players can play further up the pitch in wide areas. Now, based on what he's looking for, Pete will use the following metrics as his main guide. XG and XA versus actual goals and actual assists. These are always worth considering as an overall value for a player's attacking contribution and its sustainability. Dribbles per 90 and successful dribbles as a percentage. Deep completions per 90, the number of successfully completed passes that find a teammate 25 yards or less from goal. Key passes and through passes per 90. And crossing metrics with a focus on deep completed crosses again per 90. Pete also considers the number of minutes being played. 
If a youngster is starting and getting regular minutes for a side, that's a strong indicator they could be successful, providing their other metrics bear this out. Again, if a player does superbly in their per 90 data but is barely playing, that could show various things. A manager who doesn't trust younger players even if they're talented, stat padding against weaker teams who've tired, or a player who's excellent but doesn't get selected for other reasons, perhaps issues with teammates or discipline. If Pete has access to any physical data, this will go into the mix, but it's unlikely, and things like speed and stamina will have to be judged by eye later in the process. He's also likely to look at the style of the team the player plays for. If they're too far removed from Winchester's current system and approach, the player could find it hard to adjust. Okay, so having created a list of several hundred possible from the first set of instructions, position, age, and possibly playing time, Pete now has a list of 40 or so players who might merit further investigation. So at this point, Pete and his team, assuming he has one, unlike our Alex Stewart, will begin video analysis of the players. The scope of this will be determined by how many staff Pete has and how near the window it is. The sheer logistics of funneling this many players and recording data and observations is staggering, and time could be of the essence. Assuming though that Winchester are ahead of the curve and making their plans early, it's likely that these players will all be watched in a number of games on video. A tool such as Scout can also highlight key actions, but what a player does without the ball, how they scan the pitch, communicate with others and the, their body language, their persistence and so on, all of these are qualities that one could only start to get a handle on by watching full matches. Video scouting just allows this to happen in a far more pragmatic and time-sensitive way. But the principles of observation are the same as watching the player in the flesh. The downside, of course, is that the camera angles mean the player isn't constantly in view, and this is why video scouting is one element but not the sole means of assessing players by eye. By this point, any player that's made it to this stage has had the following things assessed. Age, position, current league and team, playing time, current team style and tactics, data set showing key metrics, and off-the-ball behavior, communication, positioning, etc., all by video. The original set of 100 possible players has been filtered in two stages, first by data and second by video. Now it's likely at this point the team will be putting together a short presentation on each player, combining playing history, data and clips to show director of football Elliot before sending scouts out to watch players in person. Elliot now assigns scouts to watch each of the 10 shortlisted wingers in person. And this is where TIFO parts company, for the reasons of the aforementioned lack of budget and lack of Alex Stewart's. The club, of course, would go on to whittle the list down further from this point, and then make their selections and attempt a signing. For the purposes of the Sensible Transfer series, you, the viewer, are our director of football, and we are merely presenting you with a list of possibilities.